this do 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 I forgot I am on hello everybody can hear me real good hello everybody this is your girl DD of wild audio blog it is as you know today is recap Sunday today is December the 20th 2015 and you know what Recap Sunday means when we recap everything from December the 14th, 2015 to today, which is December the 20th, 2015. Hmm. I had to start that off by saying that. Hmm. There has been a lot of stuff that happened. I'm sorry, first off, let me apologize about Friday's broadcast. I was on, had a little bit of technical difficulties. So in the middle of the broadcast, um, everything just went down. <laughs> I mean, it just went down, 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 and downer, and downest, but it went down. Um, but I'm going to recap, like I normally do. And also try to continue what I was trying to talk about, if I kind of remember what I was talking about on Friday. Um, actually trying to, I think I was talking about like evaluating and things about Christmas and how different things about Christmas and how how we looked at Christmas back in the days versus the Christmas of how kids look at it right now. Technology. Um, being ignorant, um, using the, the, the excuse of being ignorant to the laws or ignorant to certain things. You can't use that anymore because of, since we have a lot of technology that everything's at our fingertips, that we can't use that excuse anymore. Not anymore, people. Not any flipping more. It's like everybody has been using the word Google. That's everybody's vocabulary, favorite vocabulary word. How can I, how can I peel a potato? Google it. How can I brush my hair from left to right? Google it. (laughs) How can I not be a jack dummy in satiety. Google it. Everything is about being Googling everything because that comes to show that we are in the times that everything is on the internet. Even your long lost cousin is on the internet. I mean, You can find everything and anything on the internet. So it's like, I'm wondering how come that, uh, I'm going to say, not how come, but not how come, but um, you can find, you can find like your, your long lost friend, your long lost pet. Everything is so accessible that nobody cannot ever, 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 ever use that sentence of. I didn't know. I didn't know that I couldn't walk here to there. What in the world is this? Wow. You know, you know what's on today, people? Good fellas. I've never, ever, ever watched that movie. I know a lot of people have been telling me that I need to go and watch Good Fellas. I never, ever, ever. I think what I need to do is take a day, write down the movies that I really should watch and watch them. Because I never watched the Good Fellas. I never watched Good Fellas. Um I've seen Carlito's way, so that's fine. Um, Scarface, classic. I've seen that too many times. Um, The Godfather. I I think I have to really, really, really be in that 
dire, dire mood to watch that. I know a lot of people looking at me like, are you crazy? Look, no, it's this whole thing that I have to be in a mood to watch that movie because I know that when I sit down and watch it, I have to watch it and not turn away. I have to make sure I have all my snacks, my juice, my my um my things all around me. Tell people if people want to come by and watch it, that's fine. If not, I gotta turn off and keep and just watch it from each each episode or or each whatever you know each level or have you want to call it. But um yeah, I've. I know I need to watch it, but it's like I, I really need, I really seriously need to actually just find a time and day, I don't know what that's going to be, and just watch them one after the other. So, um, yeah, I definitely have to definitely, 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 definitely do that. So, um, but... Since it's the holiday season, I don't think it's a good idea for me to watch them now. <laughs> Not now, but but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, people. But again, like I said on Friday, I do apologize because of the technical difficulties that I had. And I was really talking about, you know, we're getting close to next week. Well, the week that's coming up, which is this week coming up. It's going to be Christmas, and I hope that everybody actually um, did all their Christmas shopping. Um, I know I've done all my Christmas shopping, and I I probably might need to get, like, probably, like, a few more things. Um, to, to say Merry Christmas and thank you. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus, whatever they call it. <laughs> um, and there's a few other things. I don't know. Now, my question is to everybody out there that's actually listening. Has everybody actually, when you put on a list of all the stuff that you need to buy for people, have you put yourself on that list? That's my question. Have you actually put yourself on that list of things that you want, you know, sometimes you sometimes you can't forget you, you know, you are important. You are an individual actually also makes up this world. So you should also put yourself down on that list of people that needs to get a gift. I know I always do that because I see I see as myself as being important, you know, because I look at myself as being a very, very nice person, a very understanding person. And a very loving person. So. So I think I deserve a gift. From myself. It could be something small. It can be just a, a little cupcake. Hostess cupcake. Which I know I shouldn't be eating those. But you know. Are they hostess little cupcake. Or. Or probably treat myself to the movies. Or. Or the dinner. Or probably like a little, knowing me, I'm a person that loves gadgets. I'm a gadget girl. So, it could be anything. It could be like a little, something technology thingamajig. Or anything that has to do with building or tools. Or um, anything outdoory, you know. Just keep in mind, it's like I have to keep, I know myself, I keep in mind that I'm more of, to give you an idea of how I am, I'm not that average woman that, that, you know, they'll say, well, do you want a pair of shoes, do you want a pair of clothes, do you want... no, you can actually just give me, um, if you, oh, you know what, I like to get a compass, 
I like a compass or or um something that's just you know out of the ordinary. That's how I that's how I roll. You know. If it's like if it's is a piece of music, that's good. You know. Shoot, if you make a if you make me a mixtape, I'm good. If you make me a mixtape of all hip hop, old school hip hop, I'm good. I'd be like, yo, thank you. Best gift ever. I love it. That's the reason why I always tell people when it when it comes to certain things, I like when people go to their go to every extent to make gifts for people or because you know it it takes it it shows that a person takes took the time to sit down and actually thought about it and use their own hands to actually make it because they put all their time and energy and their love through their fingertips to make that item for you for Christmas. Those are always the best. And I guess I must have gotten that from my grandmother because she always used to make certain things like make us outfits. Um, probably, yeah, she was always sewing and stuff like that. She used to make us outfits and stuff like that. So, you know, I always love those type of things or bags or, um, a little knickknack. She'll make little dolls and stuff like that. That's why my niece, my niece had a doll that my grandmother made that she had, um, kept forever. I was popping out, arms almost came off, but she loved it till it was like really breaking apart you know and I guess that that's what I was instilled with it's like you know but don't get me wrong if you want to get me a a, a, T, a TV or a, a flat screen or something like that and you say hey I'll give you I'll, pff, hey I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna turn away from that <laughs> But, you know, or if you give me a card, I will even love a card, you know, because also when you give a person a card and you take the time to pick out the right card for them, if it's funny or if it's sentimental, that's also a good gift that I like to, you know, because you took the time just to read it and make sure they got the, the message behind it. The, if you if you pick the ones that are funny with with um the cartoon characters or the ones that have the funny faces and stuff like that, those are always the best too, you know. So I really definitely, definitely like those things. So like I always, like I was saying from before, if you have a, a Christmas list of people that you need to make, you know, give gifts to and stuff like that, make sure, just make sure, make sure you have your have your name on that list because you. You, I'm talking to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. Everybody deserves it. Everybody deserves something. You know? Everybody deserves something. I'm telling you. Okay, let's see. Let's kind of like recap on what actually happened during this week. I'm like, oh boy. I've talked about that. Um, I know the the change of the weather has been crazy. Since yesterday, the weather is so brick outside. The sun tries to actually try to mask the cold weather, but it still doesn't do any justice. So for the people out there that's in New York, make sure that you have all your necessary garments out because I know what I do is that every season like if it's if it's coming into the summer I always pack all my winter clothes away and I put those away in the attic but when the winter starts to come I start to take those things out like the long johns the long john tops the extra pair of socks the sweaters the scarves the hats the knitted hats everything the galoshes um, the heavy, heavy, heavy boots. You have to make sure that you have all that stuff out because even though the weather is kind of funky, you really need to watch how it is and still dress accordingly because if you don't, this is a time of season. This is a time of season that you can actually catch a real bad 
a real bad cold. And I know a lot of people don't need to, to, you know, to catch a cold because after the holidays and when New Year's is over and 2016 comes up, then you have January. January is always the dead month because in January, there's no holidays. There are holidays like Martin Luther King, stuff like that, but there's no holidays when you buy stuff for other people. So all the buying and spending stuff like that happens around this time. So in January, that's when money's really tight. Money's really tight. People are trying to find extra money to go into the gym. They're trying to to um, complete their new, new Year's resolution. That's when the gyms be packed, all that stuff. So it's like everybody just need to, Look at it, even though you might have good days out there with weather-wise, still dress accordingly because you don't want to get sick. Because if you get sick, then then you have to take off from work. And if you take off from work, if you have those sick days, or if you didn't take those, add those sick, sick days to your vacation days, then, then what's going to happen is that you're going to lose out. And then what's going to happen after that? What's going to happen next? You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm telling you, you really got to be careful. I don't even know how the weather's going to be out in everybody, uh, all of the places. Like, like I know one of my friends are actually out there in, in Vegas, and I had to ask him. I had to send him a post saying, well, is it hot out there? He was like, hell, he said it's cold. No, it's not. I was like, damn, I thought Vegas would have been, would have been, like, nice. It would have been, like, nice, nice weather. Because you're close to the part of the earth where there's more heat. But I guess not because this time, these day and ages, the weather has been acting very, very, very funky. And I sometimes don't understand why. But I guess I guess it's just the, the ozone. I think it's like they said, the ozone layer and... And I'm like, there's a lot of things that kind of um, affect the ozone layer and stuff like the ozone layer and stuff. But I'm like, what actually happened? You know, I'm like, it's just flipping crazy, crazy to a point that I just don't really, really, really understand. You, it's like you really have to be careful when it comes out to um, the weather out there, people. Definitely, you really do. Because if you don't, you definitely don't want to get cold. Okay. Also, another thing I was thinking about. Oh, around this time when there's the season, or there's always a lot of deals out there. So... If you're still going out there to buy your Christmas gifts, kind it seems like a lot of people has been. I don't know. I think people are more, more, buying their gifts online than going to department stores because one, they can beat the hustle and the bustle. Two, they don't have to waste gas. Three, they can avoid all the fights and and the, and the fights. Of people trying to grab and take and hit people over the head for an item. So a lot of people will go to the extent of just going online, which is which is which is an understandable thing, which is understandable, you know. I, I, I understand that, you know. You could just stay, you don't have to go out, you don't have to get dressed, you could just sit down in your comfortable pajamas and make your whole list and buy everything because instead of just going to like um like a Target or a Kmart, Walmart, Home Depot, wherever, Macy's, they also have those places online. So if you buy stuff online and this and they have like the free shipping, you ship it directly to them, to the people that you have to, you know, you got their addresses, just have them ship the gifts there. Then you then you're straight. Then you're good. You don't have to move. You can make your breakfast or have your lunch and tea. Me, I have my crumpets and stuff like that. But at least everything is done right there. You don't have to do too much. You don't. You don't even have to go out there and 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 say hello to Jack Frost. Because Jack Frost is like he's having a party outside with this cold weather. 
It's like crazy right now. So it's like, I understand how, like, even when you buy gifts online, they have a lot of discounts too. One thing is always good. They always give you the free shipping. So that's one good thing that's, that's on, that's on the table. God damn it. This thing is like beaming hot. That's one thing that's like on the table, which is really good. Slime on crap. Ooh, God, this thing is like getting so damn hot. Um, and stuff. And, oh, wow. Wait, let's see. Somebody just followed me on, on Twitter. And I would like to say thank you. Uh, let's see. Wow. I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much for the person that followed me on, on, on Twitter. Fly Margaret. Thank you so much. Fly Mar Margaret 893. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday. And I hope that Santa, because I know there's two Santas now. You have the, the kid Santa, and then you have the good looking adult Santa that's out there. <laughs> Showing his stuff, GQ, I call him GQ Santa, and I make sure, and I'm gonna make sure that he comes down your chimney tree and make sure that you get all the gifts that coming to you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Now listen, I'm telling you, look, it's all, it's all about just how can I say, it's all about with Christmas. It's like, all right. I know in the U.S. We, we look at it as Christmas. Everywhere in the world, they look at this holiday so differently. And they celebrate it a little bit different. I remember I used to have this book that show you how Christmas, how this holiday is actually celebrated all around the world. I mean, from the U.S., from um, Holland, from India, from China, Japan. I mean, it shows you each and every where in the world how they actually celebrate it. And I've had this book when eons ago. And some of the things that I've seen, I understand. Insurance, I gotta look at that. Um, I've understand about how they celebrate it but now that now that there are people that are starting to see since is that in other words since there is a lot of technology and internet is like the big thing that you can see everything all around the world that you don't have to actually have to travel to the to the place or the destination to get more information about it, you can actually go on the internet and see. And sometimes how other countries celebrate Christmas, other people don't understand and they think that is that, that might be insulting, but it's not insulting until you understand how their culture looks at that holiday. So one thing I want to say to people out there is that before you see how certain countries celebrate the holidays, don't jump to conclusions about how they celebrate it, how they look at Santa Claus or how they call Santa Claus or St. Nick or however they call it. But before, but before you actually talk about those certain things and stuff like that you really have to actually just how can I say you it's just try to find out more information about it before you can actually like find a little bit like the internet is there go online and 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 research it a little bit before before even saying well I don't know why are they doing it like this? Because remember, they've been doing how they celebrate it 
for years and years and years before the internet actually opened up the doors for everybody to see a lot of things. You understand? So, so just make sure, so just make sure that you just, um, celebrate it, but if you see something, um, just uh, try to understand, um, the other cultures of it before even going to that, you know, that route. You understand what I'm saying? Um, another thing I would like to talk about is, uh, Let's say, uh, oh, I think I was talking about on Fridays that if anybody had any, um, Christmas parties from their job, because I know a lot of people, some people do their Christmas parties early. Some people do their Christmas parties late. Some people just wait until next month to do their Christmas parties. I don't know. Sometimes it's just depending on how the company runs and how, um, how their jobs are, that's how they conduct their Christmas parties, or if they're going to have one this year or they don't have one this year. I know one of the things I really liked, and I mentioned this about it on Friday, is that on Friday, um, I mentioned about how they did the Secret Santa, which I really, really, really like. I love, 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 love the whole thing about Secret Santa and what you do. You put people's names, whoever wanted to participate, they get um everybody's names and they put them in a hat, right? And from putting it in the hat and everything, then everybody would, you know, go in, they put the hand in, they take it out, and then whoever name that you pick, you are their secret Santa. And the object of it is that you have a limit, which would be either, I don't know, sometimes we'll say the maximum would be like twenty dollars or 10, 10 or 20. And then you will buy a gift for the person of the name that you pick. And and then when the Christmas party comes, you just bring the gift, you put it on the tree and that's it. And and call it a day. And then people get their gifts and then they open up like, oh, a tie. Oh, a piece of gum. Oh, um, a pillowcase. But it's all about this, all about the gift. It's 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 always about it's always about the gift and the thought not the gift it's mostly about it's always about the thought it's always about the thought that counts you understand what I'm saying because <laughs> that's what it's all that's what it all boils down to people it boils down to just that and hey and when you do do that and you say to yourself oh this is I had so much fun, you know, hey, this person gave whoever this was, um, they gave me a whole perfume set, what the hell are they trying to say, <laughs> I'm just joking, don't, don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm just making some jokes, but, um, but I always like that, that whole thing of secret Santa and stuff like that, you know, and let me see, the secret Santa, and let's see, Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Another thing too. I want to find out what the hell is this. Another thing I want to find out about. Ooh, this is cool. Uh, it seems like it's a um. I'm looking on um. What do you call it? On Facebook, and it seemed like they have uh, a manual washing machine, which you just do by your foot. You put a few things in it. You put a little detergent, fabric softener. You don't have to use electricity. You just press on it with your foot. You release the water after it's done, and then the clothes is washed. You take them out. That is very cool. So it saves on little things that you want to wash and electricity. This is great. It's called something, <laughs> but it's cute. This might be cool for somebody that's in college that 
want something that they can wash clothes really quick and then like a few things probably like five little things and then they can hang it up and then call it a day something like that it's, 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 it's very cute there's a lot of little things that people can actually buy for people that it's convenient it's very 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 convenient so oh certain things oh another thing i want to do is that i want to also recommend a few just a few a few things that i would like to recommend out to people on certain apps there's one app that i would like to recommend to people that want to that's trying to start a business or have a blog and they need like a little bit of um like once in a blue like a little bit of office space or something like that that they could just have to themselves and to do whatever work or stuff like that it's peaceful they have a couch and and um chairs and benches and stuff like that or if you want to have a little bit of a meaning there's a app called breather okay it's b-r-e-a-t-h-e-r and that app, what it is, is that they have a lot of locations. I know one of the locations is in New York. I know they have other locations, different other places. But the one in New York, they have a lot of breather locations where you can pay by the hour. And they give you a code. You go to the location. It could be in Chelsea. It can be Midtown, Uptown, or Lower Down Manhattan. And you can just, they give you like a, like a loft little, um, room where you can, you can conduct, um, pop-ups or meetings or a little tiny, a little tiny event or a little tiny, um, private, private showing. If you want to, if you have an artist that you want to do a private showing for, for a few, um, potential, um, a and you're going to invite them there and it's reasonable. So if you are interested, just check it out. This is one thing I must recommend to people. It's called Breather. It's B-R-E-A-T-H-E-R. I think this is something that would be great for people that are just starting out with business and they just want to, you know, a short little tiny pop-up that might be one or two hours um, that you don't want to break the bank. It's something that's nice and nice and you know, that you could just have an event at. So this is some place that you could definitely, definitely try to look into. So definitely try that out. Okay. Um, another thing too is, which I know a lot of you have seen is, um, if you are selling items and things of that nature, there's two things that I, I would also recommend is one is called PayPal here. PayPal here is a very good device. If you have a smartphone, that if you want to collect payments um, by credit card, because sometimes if you're selling things or if you're selling things on the go and people do not have cash because it seems like a lot of people are more with plastic than, than you know, physical money, then PayPal here, they have a little device that can just actually hook up to your smartphone and you can take credit card payments. Plain and simple. Credit card payments, one, two, three. Or there's another one that's called Square. Square is another one that you can actually check out if you are doing, you know, if you're doing consultations, it could be anything. It's consultations, if you're a trainer, if you're a teacher, um, if you're doing plumbing work, or if you're doing installation of, of, techn of um, devices like printers, fixing them on the go, hairstylists, it, any, any one of those things, you can actually use this device. And I, I definitely recommend, I give it, I give it, uh, I give it both of them four, four thumbs up for that one. Even though I don't have four thumbs, but I give all, I'll do four thumbs up. So PayPal here and Square. So definitely check those things out. Um, Let's see. Oh, another thing too, if you're looking for technology, well, not technology, but if you're looking for certain devices like, um, laptops as gifts or ipads ipods stuff like that and if you don't want to go to apple for those things another place i would recommend that you know just try to check out would be one micro center micro center 
is one place I would recommend that if you're looking for any type of technology when it comes to gaming, um, gaming consoles, um, printers, um, fax machines, projectors, um, accessories, whatever it is. You can actually just go to Micro Center or even check them out online. It's called microcenter.com, okay? And they're having a lot of sales on there. Even when it comes to flat screens or LCD monitors, all of that, they have everything there. So that, because I know a lot of people know Best Buy, but the next top thing I must say is Micro Center because they really do have good deals and good equipment there. They sell everything, so check them out, okay? Um, before I even go on to any more information, I just want to give a few shout-outs to some people. I would like to give a shout-out to Kamiko Bags, um, KamikoBags.com. If you're looking for some nice, classic-style, unique bags and accessories, go to KamikoBags.com and KamikoBags.net. You can actually see, I'm telling you, their bags are very awesome, very original and different. So just check them out. Um, also, you can also, if you're looking for nice quality, gorgeous shoes, try out Shay's Shoe Haven. They have some beautiful beautiful shoes and accessories so definitely check those check them out it's called Shea Shoe Haven all right and they as well as Kamiko Bags and Shea Shoe Haven they are going to be opening up and they're going to be opening up a location I'm going to try to get all the information and I'm let you know as soon as their grand opening comes up you'll be hearing it from me so I can let you know so you can go down and see all the wonderful accessories and items that you can buy and be so happy on. So definitely make sure you are here and you are tuned in and make sure that you check out check out KamikoBags.com and .net and Shea Shoe Haven. Another website that you should also check out for the holiday season is WalkAware.com. They have so much apparel, so much good items that I cannot say anything more. All you need to do is go to walkaware.com. They have jackets, they have sweats, they have jeans, they have hats. I mean, they are, they even have mugs. I'm telling you, when you go there, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I have to get this, I have to get that. You're gonna be so much in love that you're gonna say, wow. Wow Audio Blog sent me here, and I'm glad I'm going to stick right here. So make sure you check that out. It's called walkaware.com. April Walker, walkaware. Make sure you check them out. Also, I'd like to give another shout-out to DJ Geo Supreme. Check him out on his website, which is G-E-E-O.com. He makes exquisite and awesome mixtapes when it comes down to... All the nice tunes, things that you never heard of to old school hip hop. I mean, this man is on the ones and twos like it's never been before. Make sure you check him out. Make sure you do. Okay. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Natasha. Thanks, Natasha, for being a big supportive person. Hope everything's going out really good. Make sure you stay warm out in the location that you're out right now. Um, I like to give a shout out to, let's see, to everybody that has supported me on Facebook. I mean, from Natasha, Gigi, Gio, um, Gucci. Oh my gosh, I have to go down the list. Let me see if I can try to go down the list. That's why I said, let me try to start doing this from now because I know it's a long list of people to say thank you thank you and thank you oh i like to say what's up to my cousin kiani what's up um i mean adrian allen alfonso uh andre 
all the Andres out there, Andre Richardson, Andre Hughes, Andre Brown, um, Andre Walker, oh my gosh, um, Angel, Carlos, what's up, Angela, Anthony Johnson, Antoine R&B, April Walker, April, April Walker, both April, April Walker and April Walker Lawson, Ariana, hey, my niece, um, Azra, Augusta, Ava, oh my gosh, Baron, Baron and Baron Mason, um, Beanie, um, I'm telling you, the whole list, Cedric, Bert, Bob Gucci, uh, Boogie Brow, what's up, man? Um, Carby, Big Car, Big Set, I mean, everybody from 228th, yo, what's up, I'm gonna say it again, Carlos, oh my gosh, um, Gerald, both Gerald's out there, how y'all doing, Chanel, my cousin Chantel, um, I mean, Chris, wow, oh, Lord, Peter, I'm going through the whole damn list. CTC Design, Curtis, what's up? DJ Sage, DJ Sun Kiss, Daniel, what's up? Um, Darnell, Dar, Darry, Dave, um, Dashila, you know, Big Dash, that's my, that's my A Spoon Coon, forever and ever and ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, wow, so many people. It's like I can go through this all day long. Everybody, Kim, 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 Kimmy, what's up? Geo, big G, G, Geo. Oh, Lord. Um, Frankie, uh, dag, Eric, um, Felicia, um, Fran, let's see. Gary, Gerald Best, what's up, bro? Um, oh boy, man, it's I mean, it's so many people out there. It's like by the time I'll be like over and done. Um, Jason, everybody, I mean, Janice Adams, wow, what's up? Jay, what's up? Both J's, J Lou and and J, what's up? Let me see. Oh my gosh, I mean everybody on Facebook that actually supported me in this podcast, and it's going to be. Oh, also William Cole, another one I want to shout out. William Cole, William Cole, you are awesome with your photography. I have to say this, people. I'm going to say this because I know there's a lot of people out there that take photography. They're, they're photographers. I understand that. But this guy's photography is so beautiful. It's not even, I won't even say it's a photograph. It's like, it's like more of, it's more of an expression. It's more like telling a story. His I don't know what to say. His his you have to go and look. Check him out. William Coles. He is a nice I mean his is off is off the chain. His his photography is gorgeous. And I cannot wait until I work with you, William, because your work is superb. So definitely check him out, check him out, check him out, and check him out. I have to say thank you so much, people. Support me. Miss A. I said she give a shout out to my mother and my dad. Love y'all. My sisters. Love y'all. My family. My friends. My friends overseas. My family overseas. My boy MIC from Holland. I'm I'll be back there sooner than you know it. Um everybody. Um Cuzzo, everybody that's out there. Listen, this is DD for Wild Audio Blog. We have a few more days to Christmas. And like I always tell everybody, this is a holiday season. It's about, to me, it's for me, it's more about giving, giving whatever you can. It can be, 
It can be love. It can be support. It can be a helping hand. It can just be a hug. It could be anything. But just give. You understand what I'm saying? And and don't let it stop just because of the holiday season. Make it just continue on. And also make sure you tell everybody, your your family, your friends, everybody that you love and you care about them every day because you're not promised tomorrow. Listen, be safe. Take care. Look both ways. Like I always say, when you grind hard, you can play hard. And today is Sunday and tomorrow is Monday. So you have to go back to work like me. So listen, I love y'all. This is Wild Audio Blog. Leave me all right now until Wednesday. So take care. Talk to y'all later. Peace.